Hi. So, back in David's shed, and uh, what I'm going to sort of quickly run through is making a butcher's block because it's a very handy thing to have in the kitchen. Every kitchen should have one. We all do a bit of cutting and chopping, and you want to save your worktops wherever you can. Um, what I use, uh, the block I'm going to show you, is a chunk of wood I had lying around like this. It's two and a half, three inches thick, about six inches that way, so it makes it a 12 inch wide. There. And this end was a bit split, so I didn't use that, but I cut off there and made myself two pieces roughly this size without the split, like so. I then got myself a couple of old hinges I had lying around, cut the last piece of that off, so I ended up with two pieces of steel like so, without that. I made the holes, the original holes that were in the hinges wider with a drill, going up a size each time until I reached the size of this thread. So that clearly passed through there on each hole. So I ended up with two of those, several bits of thread, and two pieces of wood this size. What I did was I put them side by side, one there, one here, plenty of glue on the outside edge here, and using furniture clamps I clamped them gently together, not too much tension, but clamped them together overnight. The next day I took those clamps off and I put these into place and lined them up. So they were central, measured here to here, here to here, put a line, got them centred. And drilled through the large, larger holes I made right the way through to the other side, well halfway. I went then round to the other side of wood did the same job, drilled through here, 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 so they lined up. So I could then pass the piece of thread through the holes I'd made in the piece of steel, right the way through the two pieces of wood, put a nut on each end and started to clamp them up, which put a lot of pressure. These acted like pressure plates put a lot of pressure on the wood and started pushing it together. When they were together, they were just slightly out of line on the top here. So using a belt sander, we belted sanded along the top to give a nice smooth surface. Along the edges here, along the front, to smooth it all down. So what we ended up with is two pieces of wood like that. which were then smoothed off along the front. You can see where the large bolts went through. Two pieces joined together. This has been uh, varnished with a matte finish varnish, just a couple of coats. Top's been belt sanded down to give a nice smooth finish. Now you can either use that as as is, a butcher's block just on your surface on the wood, or you can add some legs to it, some nice chunky legs, maybe a shelf at the bottom and so on and so on. You can expand on the idea, but the basics are there. You can see just how simple that is. It's just two large chunks of wood that's been bolted together right the way through. That, that plate appears on the other side exactly the same. Five or six pieces of thread, depending how many holes you've got in your original pieces of steel go right the way through, bolt them together, plenty of tension, tight as they go, and you end up with a very nice wood block for chopping, carving, cutting, whatever. Even if you don't use it, it looks attractive in the kitchen. So, handy job.